hello my beautiful people you are welcome back to boyos network thank you guys for always stopping by i do really appreciate and if you're just coming for the very first time hello you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up and also share this video thanks once again so my people i don't really come back again come me to now here with this same room away down the waka for many years now when i remember say 2018 there is this room on say obasanjana Ibo man so in 2020, this same rumor came back again. So Obasanjo, Nari Ibo Mano, say now from Anambra State, now he come from. And right now in 2023, this same rumor is back. In that 2020, when this rumor came back again, Obasanjo dismissed the speculation that he is not a Yoruba man. Inside his book that is titled My Watch Volume 2, Political and Public Affair, says his parents were from Owo in Abiokuta, Ogun State. Olushabu Obasanjo cited that in book for page 675, described himself as a thoroughbred Yoruba man. And he also said, to be a Nigerian, I have to be born somewhere in Nigeria, or to be of Nigerian parentage, or one must neutralize. If any other hide their identity, I cannot because my two parents were from Owo in Abiokuta. And you cannot be more Yoruba than Owo man. As the first child and daughter of Odudowa, the father of Yorubas was the mother of all Owos. What is more, I bear Owo tribal mark. And better Owo still, I speak English with my Owo dialect. I have always maintained and feel proud of my Owo-ness, Yoruba-ness and Nigerian-ness in that order. All right, this is now Luxe Buo Basan Jonai they talk. That was in 2020. But as we speak, my fellow people, this rumor don't come back again. No. Before we continue, make I go back, make I tell on how they say it relates to Igbo. The man on this picture, the nation clarified as at that time that he was an Igbo man who lived in Abiokuta territory during the 1930s. As indicated by nation then, the cop later turned into a ruler, a conspicuous southeastern ruler position. So during that time, when the man did it, it's not that time the man did know Obasanjo Mama. During that time, he had a relationship with an war woman before he left Southwest. In spite of the fact that the paper did not state more than that, let's get something clear from here. Inside, based on what we've read so far, you can see that it was not specified that it was Ambassador's mommy, but just the fact that they said the man had a relationship with our woman. So now, now some people now don't come decide say that woman with the man meet no Ambassador Mama. We could not get and clear. All right, let's continue. Whatever insinuation was left of preparing Ambassador's paternity debate was passed up by the Abuja based leadership paper by means of dooming segments labeled Olushegun Ibochukun Obasanjo, composed by Sam Nda Isaiah. Utilizing the photos provided by the nations as the feed of its reveal. The journalist discharged the sensation. The editor of the nation would not like to state a lot and they have left us to our creative mind. However, it won't be from me that you will hear that Obasanjo's dad was Igwe Onyejikwe, a top positioning cop who turned into Igwe of Onicha in his lifetime. During his disputable rule, the position of authority was in conflict among him and Igwe Okosi, similarly as today between Igwe Achebe and Igwe Odukwe. All right? He said, not finished with Obasanjo, the future writer went for the slaughter. Igwe Onyejikwe, Obasanjo's dad, passed on after the Second World and similar to his child. He was to be extremely petulant and troublesome. <laughs> See Nigerians with conclusion. No? So right now there is this question and he's saying that in any case, would it be able to be valid if Chief Olushegu Obasanjo, the Balogu of Owo in Ibe land, be the organic child of Igwe of Igwe Joseph Okudeli Onyejikwe, the Obi of Onicha Adondo from 1962 to 1970s. He said, this one now settles the question among the contenders for the position of authority. 
on the off chance that the appropriate response are in the position. Does that imply that the Igbos have incidentally taken their eight years proportion at the administration and the Yorubas have not? But one Oba Isaac Adeyemi Ojelade Badegule one. The Onimbogon of Igbogon land, Obasanjo presumed maternity old neighbor, says that the top vendors are either hard or are simply doing it because of inactions. It is a major, he also said that it's a major falsehood and it's only gossip tick bites. He also mentioned that Obasanjo is a regular Abiyokuta man. His dad was unadulterated Ibe man from Owo with three facial check on each side of his cheek. All right, we've had the man Oba defending Oba Sanjo. But in Nonicha, they said the well known story is that Oba Sanjo is a result of sentimental contact between the Iwe Onyejikwe and Ashebe, that is Oba Sanjo's mom, during the 1930s. Another source told the magazines in Nonicha that Onyejikwe really gave a proposal that encouraged Oba Sanjo's selection in the Grand Army in 1958. All right, my people, you guys have heard it, but now <laughs> the same thing happened in 2020 when Obasanjo was against the Igbos. They also said Obasanjo is against his brothers. Now, in 2023, Obasanjo now is not against the Igbos. They are saying that Obasanjo is actually an Igbo man, that we've known this from in memory that he's an Igbo man, and hence the Igbos don't have to cry of being marginalized since their beloved son. OBJ have ruled this country, both as a military and a civilian. In the pictures they have been bringing out in all these years, they've not really brought out Obasanjo's real father's picture. As in the man where they talk to Naibi Obasanjo Papa, they don't bring out that man picture. The question now is, where the picture of Obasanjo's real father? Because if they have resemblance, you can resemble anybody. To me, I don't think that they can judge by facial, they can judge with only facial appearance if it's from Onicha or from Abiyokuta. I don't know about you guys, but I would like you guys to drop it in the comment section. Let's know what you really think about this. Thank you very much for stopping by. I do really appreciate it.